Good morning and welcome to the Sunday Forum, our weekly conversation at the intersection of faith and public life. In case you haven't noticed, Christianity is going through massive changes in our time. It's burgeoning, growing like crazy in some parts of the world. It's shrinking and struggling in other parts of the world, such as our parts of the world, and certainly in the European part of the world. Something big is happening in the whole story of Christian faith. No one has been more insightful and thoughtful about that than I guess today. Diana Butler Bass, who's been looking at this and thinking about it and writing about it for at least a couple of decades now. When you get to talking about the Middle Ages, I think you used cathedral in the title of one of those. It caught my, caught my attention. You're talking about the similarities between uh, uh, modern people and the people of the Middle Ages. Mm-hmm. Say something about them. Yeah, um, oftentimes today, if you hear people talking about, oh, the church exists in a situation that is just like another situation historically, folks will usually say we're just like the early church, meaning our world is more pluralistic. Um, that there's more need for the practice of hospitality. There's all kinds of ways you can make parallels between us and the first five centuries of Christianity. But I've never actually heard anybody say we were more like the Middle Ages. Mm. And so I just thought I'd try it out and see <laughs> what people, how people would respond. Um, but there's a couple aspects of the case that I make there. Um, one is that medieval people did not really see a separation between the sacred and the secular. And it was in great buildings like this where the space actually combines the earthly and the mundane and the heavenly. And these kinds of church buildings are, I think, emblematic of the worldview, that very cohesive and connected worldview, that middle middle. Uh, medieval people had. Um, so here we are in postmodern culture, and the divide that we had between secular, sec, sacred and secular, see if I can't even divide them verbally, <laughs> um, in modernity is breaking down. And one of the mark of postmodern people is that intermixture of these two worlds, that transcendent world and the mundane. And so I think that we're much more like medieval people in that. And the other thing that makes us a bit more like medieval people is that medieval people, and I love looking around here, I always do, medieval people told their stories in pictures, in these windows where light comes through and you can read the story in light and image. And uh, postmodern people, we have learned to read our stories in light and image. It's called a Mac book. (laughs) <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we now uh, very much understand ourselves in a culture where we communicate visually um, as much or perhaps even more than we mm. do in writing. Mm. 